Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about the concept service program. We will see how we can create the service program and what are the basic command related to the service program. So if you remember, in our previous session, we discussed the process through which we create the multiple modules and those modules we attach into a binding directory. And using that binding directory, we create the program using CRTPGM command as well as we specify that into the main program also. Okay, so binding directory we can specify in your program also and today we will uh, perform the same thing but here we will not use binding directory instead of that we will use this uh, service program. Okay, so firstly I quickly show you the modules that I have already created and the same we have discussed in previous sessions also. So this is the mod one in which we are we have created one sub procedure uh, get username. Uh, it will take the user ID as an input parameter and return the username. Similarly, we have another module mod two which is having uh, the get password pr sub procedure and it accepts the user ID as an input parameter and returns the password. Now another module we have is the main procedure. It contains the main procedure main. Uh, mods and what it do it uh, pass the user ID to the uh, other two sub procedures that, that we have created in mod 1 and mod 2 and retrieve the username and password so th this is the thing so this is the thing that we have already seen in last session now what we will do we will uh, compile this and create the module for these so I have created the module for all three of these modules. Okay, now we will see how we can create the CRTPGM or uh, how we will create the service program. So for that you have to hit the command CRT SRV PGM then take F4. Here you have to put the service program name. So let's say I want to create it with names SRV PGM 1. Okay then you have to put your library name so my library name is sharmit1 so it will be created in sharmit1 library now here on this position you you can take plus for entering the multiple modules now you can specify all your module here so my first module is mods which is in sharmit1 then we have mod1 which is also in sharmit1 and mod2 and it also it is also in sharmit1 library just hit enter and here you have to specify this uh, option as star all so we can pass other values also but in this session we will uh, go with only this option star all okay and just hit enter so once you hit enter it will create the service program one in this library okay so we have created the service program so how we will confirm it that whether this is created or not so you can use dsp srv pgm command to see the information here you can specify the service program name that is srv pgm1 yen which is in library sharmit1 and hit enter so it will show all the information related to that service program so here you can see that it is created on this date and this time and other informations are also there like if you do page down it will show how many modules are attached with the service program how many service program uh, number of service program okay so these are all information you can find from here if you hit enter it will show the other information like total service program size number of modules number of service program okay then hit enter again these are the module that we have attached with this service program enter these are the service system service programs that is already attached with this so these are the signature what is signature and activation that we will discuss in upcoming sessions if you enter again then it will show the procedure that we have exported enter then it shows the data export so these are the some screen that you will get on uh, consecutive enters and this is the signature so regarding signature we will cover in the uh, upcoming session so these all information you can get from this uh, dsp srv pgm command so we have created the service program and also we have checked like how we can see this service program using the dsp srv pgm command now we will see like how to attach this service program and create the program for that so for that you need to hit command crt pgm command and take f4 and here you can pass any name but as we are using main procedure so uh, main procedure name is mods so that's why we have to specify mode uh, name as mods only 
because otherwise we will not be able to call that main procedure and here you can pass your library name so if you are not using main program then you can pass any name that you, from uh, from which you want to create the mod program but if you are using main program then use only that name only okay and below to that here we will not specify modules manually because we have already created the service program so we will attach that so press f10 and page down so here you can put uh, service program information here to bind the service program so my service program name is srv pgm1 which is in library sharmit1 and just hit enter so it shows mods created in library sharmit1 so you can call this program mods so it will fetch out the username and service uh, username and password and this is performed with the help of service program because this time we are not using binding directory nor uh, neither we are using binding directory nor we are attaching module directly to the crtpgm command instead of that we are using service program so there are lots of other uh, advantage of service program that uh, we will discuss in the upcoming sessions but for now we have just discussed how we can use crtsrvpgm command to create the service program and then how we can use dspsrvpgm command to display the service program information okay and uh, to attach the service program we can directly go for crtpgm command and there we can specify our service program name okay and all the required information so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech chairman